Hey everybody, Joe the Handyman here. I uh, wanted to give you guys a quick, very quick tutorial on how to deal with uh, paint drips. So a lot of times you'll go into a house and you'll see uh, the previous time that it was paint, the house was painted. Um, there's a lot of sags and drips and that kind of thing. So I'm repairing some of that today and I want to show you what I do to make it look better. Thanks. So as you can see here, um, there is quite a bit of paint sag going on. Um, a little bit around here. Well, actually quite a bit around here. So um, you could definitely sand these, but I have uh, a way to do it where uh, it just goes a little faster and I think you get a better result. So uh, what I have, I'll try to set this up, is I have one of these rasp files or whatever you want to call it. Um, it's pretty aggressive. It's got this kind of cheese grater kind of deal going. And the nice part about it is, let me back up. You can really get some leverage with it by, by using two hands. So there's this. Uh, there's a sanding block that I use. Uh, this is about an 80 grit block. And it's, uh, it's plenty for, for what I'm doing here. Um, I also use a scraper and a little brush just to get rid of any of the, uh, the, the stuff that's sanded off. So let me go through and show you what I do. That was a rhyme. Get me set up there. <clears throat> so as you can see right here, we have a, uh, a pretty good sized drip. First thing you want to do is try to get this thing level. So take the grass and get it down and then you just feel it and you can see that uh, that high spot is gone. Now, go back, take the sanding block, and you got one up here too. Get that one. All right, so quite a few spots. Go back in here, knock it down a little more, a little bit of a divot there, so I'm going to try to feather that. And actually, before I go further, that one too. That's good. So then, <clears throat> just take my roller, oh, first get rid of all the dust, you don't want that, clean it all up nice, go back with my small roller, got a 3 8 snap, load it up, Give it a little cover. Going with pretty light pressure because uh, you want to have that uh, that finish kind of meld in with what's there already. Go up top. May have to come back and hit that little low spot again. That's okay. Get up there. And undo the switch plate. Or the outlet plate. Get some of the excess off. And I will cut that in with a brush as well. So that's it. So, really easy way, very quick way to get rid of high spots and drips on your wall. Uh, if you don't have the same color paint, obviously you're going to want to do this prior to uh, prior to painting. So, um, you know, just take the time and get rid of those drip spots, paint it, and you're good to go. That's it. Hope this was helpful. Talk to you guys soon.